Hi there, this is Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook, and I wanted to show you real quick a new feature that is available in Google Slides, and that is the Q&A feature. So what this allows you to do is to present your slides to some sort of audience and give them an instant feedback tool where they can ask you questions that, that you can answer. And so here's how it works. I've got this slide presentation open. This is a, a presentation that I do at conferences and events and all of that um, using technology with the, the ideas from Teach Like a Pirate, the, the book. And so what I can do if I'm doing this presentation is instead of just hitting present, I can hit the drop down menu and choose presenter view. With presenter view, it gives you a couple of things. One, it gives you this screen back behind where you can present your slides. But what I can also do now is use the audience tools here. And this says audience Q&A, let your audience submit questions. And then, so I'll hit start new here and look what it's done. Back behind here, it's added this little ribbon up at the top of my slide where I can ask a question. And then I can see the questions as they come in here. So if my audience was watching, they would see it like this. And if they decided that they wanted to ask a question, they could go to this URL. And so I'll bring this over here into a separate window. And this is what it would look like. Now they could sign in so that the question could be asked as themselves. So let's say if we're talking about the digital pirate, we say, what does pirate stand for? And if they hit submit, now that question shows up down here. And anybody that's watching the presentation who comes to this page, which is actually this page right up here, the goo.gl URL that you can see right here. If anybody comes to that, they can see what questions have already been asked. And then they can hit thumbs up or thumbs down to say, yes, this is something that I want to hear answered, or no, I don't think this is a good question. And obviously, if they were signed in up here, they wouldn't just be asking anonymously. They could be asking as themselves with their, their names. And so for me as a presenter, this is what it looks like. And so I can see all of my slides over here. I can still switch over to my speaker notes if I want, but then I can review all of my questions and I can determine if I want to answer one of them. And so if I want to answer this question in front of the group, remember here are my slides, I can click present and all of a sudden it pops the question right up on the screen. And so I could stop for just a second and I can address this question. And then once I'm done, I hit the hide button and now I'm back to my regular slide. So it's a pretty nice feature for being able to interact with whoever your audience is. If you're presenting to a group of teachers, you can do that. Even if you're working with students, that is one neat way to be able to do that. I could also see if you were using Skype or Google Hangouts or some sort of video chat feature where you are presenting to multiple audiences, this is one way to keep everybody sort of on the same page. Now the other neat thing that's shown up is this right here, and this is the laser pointer. And so if you're wanting to circle something or underline it or and, and make it a little bit clearer and easier to see to your audience, then you can click on it and now you can see the little red tail that follows my, my pointer. So that's another neat feature that's come out here recently. So Anyway, a couple, just a, a, new, a couple of new features that make things a little bit easier for you when presenting to a group of people.